Hello guys, this is my drone building series part 2. In this video, I will show you my progress on this drone. How I set up OpenGD and how I set up 5 directional obstacle avoidance. Let me disassemble it first. As you can see, I mounted PixHawk GPS, Arduino Nano, 2 antennas and 5 ultrasonic sensors on the top plate. And there are 6 stands to support it. Unplug the ESC wires and the wires that connect to Raspberry Pi Zero. Next, let me disassemble the Raspberry Pi Zero, which is the Air Pi in the OpenHD system. I choose the Zero Two W because it is quite powerful but it needs additional configuration when flashing SD card. It is explained in OpenHD website. By the way, I'm using OpenHD version 2.0.8. You can see I use a lot of Lionel stands and nuts to reduce the weight. I bought this Wi-Fi adapter from Taobao. I think it's also available on AliExpress. The four pins from left to right are VCC, D-, D+, and Ground. I connect them accordingly to the Raspberry Pi. No worry, at the end of the video, I will give you the wiring diagram so that you won't go wrong. AirPi is connected to the PixHawk telemetry port 1. Later I will show you how to configure in Mission Planner. This is how my AirPi is mounted on the drone. This is Raspberry Pi 3B. I use it as ground Pi. I designed a small model to mount Wi-Fi adapter. The wiring is pretty much the same, but be careful. Don't connect to the wrong pins. From top to down is ground, D plus and D minus, and also 5 volt. Now let's power up the Raspberry Pi. Attention please, always install the antennas before you power on your Wi-Fi adapter. The booting up process is quite fast. I use iPhone to connect to OpenHD Wi-Fi and open build OpenHD app. If successful, you will see video stream right away. If not, do check the OS you flash on your SD card and most important, the wiring. You can drag around the indicator and do whatever configuration as you want. You should see the logs from both AirPi and GroundPi. As you can see, the latency is small, but sometimes you can see some lagging, but it's fine for me. You can also shut down the AirPi and GroundPi from the app. After shutting down, the activity in light will be turned off. Let's talk about ultrasonic sensors. It is not easy for ultrasonic sensor to directly communicate with PixHawk, but I can use the Arduino Nano as a messenger between them. I connect the trigger pin and echo pin together so that only one wire is used. I also connect all 5 volt wires and all ground wires together and hide them under the PixHawk. The Arduino is connected to PixHawk telemetry port 2. Now let's connect the Arduino to the computer. Open Arduino IDE. This is code to upload. 
The code will be linked in the description. The first few lines are the libraries that we need to use. Different numbers represent different direction in the proximity. In my case, I used forward, forward right, forward left, and left. Here, you need to define which digital pin the ultrasonic sensor connects to. For example, left sensor connects to pin 6. Normally, the system ID of your PixSock will be 1, unless you have changed it before. The serial communication pin will be TX is 10 and RX is 11. In the setup, we start the communication with PixHawk and start the serial monitor. And this function is to send heartbeat to the PixHawk. And this function is to send distance data to the PixHawk. In the loop, the Arduino will read ultrasonic sensor data. Afterwards, the data will be sent to PixSock continuously. That's all for the code. Now you need to upload this code to your Arduino Nano. After that, open Serial Monitor. You can see the distance reading from the ultrasonic sensor. But it seems my forward sensor has some problem. The reading sometimes will be zero. I will replace that later. Now, let's keep the Arduino connected. We also connect the PixSock to our computer. Let's open Mission Planner. I have already done the basic setup for my PixSock, so I will not do it here. After connecting, let's go to the full parameter setting. Firstly, let's search for serial port. Telemetry 1 is connected to OpenHD AirPi, so we set the port rate to 1152 and set the protocol to Mavlink 2. Telemetry 2 is connected to Arduino Nano, so we set the port rate to 576 and set the protocol to Mavlink 1. Next, let's search for proximity. Set the proximity type to Mavlink and set the LAN detection to enabled. Click right parameter to save your change. Next, reboot your PixSock and connect to your computer again. Hit your keyboard Ctrl F to open the additional window. Click on proximity. Now you can see the proximity UI. The red line represents the distance between the object and your ultrasonic sensor. If you can see these lines, it means you are successful on the proximity setup. Now we can connect the AirPi to our PixSock so that we can see some telemetry data in our Q OpenHD app. Once again, install your antennas before you power up the Wi Fi adapter. The AirPi is connected to telemetry port 1. Now let's power up OpenHD again. Now you can see some additional information on the screen. When you move your drone, you can see the horizontal line is also moving. This looks very promising. As I mentioned just now, I have made a wiring diagram for your reference. On the left is a connection of the ground pie.
on the right is a connection for AirPi. For now, please ignore the optical flow sensor first. After I try it, I will show you how I use it. The connection of the ultrasonic sensor may not be the same as in my code, so please check first before you upload the code. Okay guys, that's basically all about this video. If you have any question, please feel free to ask in the comment. I will try my best to answer them. As always, please like my video and subscribe to my channel. You will see more interesting content. See you guys.